Hi, good evening, everyone, fellow Hong Kongers and friends from all around the world. Welcome to Diana, a quick meditation session with Mr. Kenze Norbu in the evening for five consecutive nights. Let's welcome up um, our great guest. Let's welcome our speaker, Mr. Kenze Norbu. Over to you, Rinpoche. Hello. We continue with uh, Diana, which I believe is uh, translated or uttered as Chan in Chinese. And um, subsequently in Japan, it is uh, pronounced as Zen. And now, in year 2022, um, Zen, many people interpret Zen in many ways. When they go to an empty room with not, without much furniture, they say, wow, it's a Zen-like. So, um, the word Zen, and the meaning Zen is getting hijacked from 10 directions. But according to the Buddha, Zen or Dhyana is really um, to have a bird's eyes view with your life. When you hear the word bird's eyes view, you may Sorry. think you may you you may think like oh like something like a big vision long term planning it's not maybe a little bit of that but it's not entirely that when we talk about bird eyes view of life or a full picture of life we are talking about looking at life without prejudice, without any preconceptions. Even many of you who is here, who come with this mind, I want to, I don't want to be anxious. That's already looking at the life with a prejudice. Okay, so when we, when we talk about having a bird's eyes view, we are not talking about like a different kinds of education, different kinds of planning, different kinds of brainstorming, none of that. The real way to look at life with a bird's eyes view is to simply observe. Some of you may be here expecting that I will give you a magic so that you can use this to see the life in full. I'm sorry, I don't have that kind of magic. But actually, I can share you something much more than magic, which I have learned from my teachers. And this is technique of simply observing. Now, 
we will, of course, we will be doing a designated like three to five minutes of simply observing. But in our day-to-day -day life, in the course of our life, one should also try to get into habit of mindfully doing something so simple, mindfully opening a bottle, mindfully breathing, mindfully eating, mindfully ironing, mindfully flushing toilet, This is something that you should try to incorporate in your life. I'm only asking you to do maybe even for a few moments a day. That's not asking much. Many Hong Kong people have so much time to go to a restaurant and talk with your friends in the noisy restaurant for hours. You have one or two moments to be mindfully flushing a toilet. You cannot tell me you don't have that time, okay? But for now, we begin today's uh, dhyana. Okay, let us do one minute of just observing the environment, wherever you are. Okay, let's start. Okay, as you may have noticed, today I did not sit straight, hey, hold on. but I was trying to observe. I observed two fan blowing wind towards me. That's it. And I hope you observed your environment. Okay, let us now observe our body. Remember, our body, very important, very precious. When I say observe body, I am not asking you to see whether the body is beautiful or fit or uh, thin or fat or tall or None of that, no prejudice, just observe. Okay, let's start.
Okay. When you observe body or the next one is breathing, every time you notice that you have been wondering, come back to the body or the breathing, whatever you are just observing. Okay, the next we are going to observe our breathing. This we will do two minutes. So please observe your breathing in and out, nothing else. Okay, let's start. Okay, now the next is we observe sensation. Let us begin observing our physical sensation. You have to have some kind of a physical sensation right this very moment. This is important because part of being human has a lot to do with the sensation. If you are, I don't know, piece of paper, paper doesn't have sensation. Wood, if you are a piece of wood, no sensation. So sensation is a very, very important part. More probably more important than your body. So right now there may be some sensation somewhere in your body just observe that let's start
Okay, so with this, we have finished our dhyana today and we continue tomorrow. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, Mr. Norbu. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Tomorrow, we will be here to learn and practice Diana together again at the same time, 8 p.m. Hong Kong time. See you all.